Oh, we did it. Yeah. The time map. You know, that was doing. That was there the whole time. Wait, what? They'd be all, don't hurt me, please. And I'd be all, too late, metal monkeys. You die screaming. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Um. Jack, I think these trophies are still walking. Oh. <laughs> metal heads, metal heads. Where's Sig when you need them? Sig, I think crew sent Sig on one last mission. Something about using Mars Ruby Key to open a secret door in the underport. Of course. Come on, Dax. We need to get to the underport right now. That's right, we gotta get sick. Be careful, Angel Cheeks. And your hero will return shortly. So yeah, I... I think at this point, yeah. <laughs> I don't know who was screaming there. It sounded like Vin, but when you lo when you look at it now, I think ever since you killed Crew, metalheads are starting to show up in Haven City. Maybe it's because they're finally to start war now. I wonder if I can actually. Oh yeah, I can. All right, let's fuck them up. <laughs> this is a no hover zone. Do you realize that your city is under attack? Oh, geez, they're attacking me. All right. We we gotta rescue Sig now. Oh shit, the Titan suit again? Oh. Um. This is not. This is not what I had in mind. Oh my god. Th Okay. Yeah, this is definitely not what I had in mind. Apparently this suit cannot go well underwater. <laughs> like, why? I think it's because, like, we just came off of the port. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just what we needed to see. Metal heads underwater. Yeah, just... God, just... Just what we needed to see. Metal heads underwater. Just wait for him to come up to you, and I guess just... Press the attack. Um, unless he's not going to. Ah! There we go. Give me that metalhead skull gem. I didn't even realize how much damage I took already. All right. Well, let's just hope this is not like a, a long thing here. And they all. Okay. Well, hopefully we can do this quickly. Because I think this is probably not a good idea here. Like, why would it not... Why would it not be capable underwater? I guess it's because of the glass. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see how it is. So, okay. I'm not actually supposed to hit those things. Those are... Those are bombs. You know what? Maybe this was really the part where, like... Or maybe it was before, like, you actually cheated this game to have, like, infinite health. <coughs> infinite health? At least these guys get taken down in one hit. Jeez. 
Jesus. They're like homing beacons. I thought I was gonna make it that time, like that big jump. Apparently you had to jump from right at the edge. No, don't. Oh, for fuck's sakes. These really are like tank controls. At least it, like, turns in a way, but you have to, like... Ugh. Alright. <laughs> Alright. So far, so good. Alright, time to make the big jump, alright? And you did it. Woo! No. I will not die like this. Please. I will not die like this. I've made it this far. Alright. That looks like something I can stomp. Hey, let's go. Whew. I, again, at the worst possible timing, too. Once I complete something, a siren pops up. That, that probably happened like three times already. Well, at least I finally made it. Oh my god. Over here and start shooting. Man, was I set up. Crew sent me down here to open some old doors with that ruby key you found. And when I did, metalheads came streaming in from some passage outside the city walls. Just like they were waiting for. Me. There's one. Crew's dead. Yeah? Well, he's lucky, because he would not want me to catch him alive. The metalheads must have promised Crew plenty for him to betray the whole city like this. Let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Jeez. Like maybe it was maybe it was Crew's fault for letting the metalheads come to the city. All right, so there is an interesting puzzle here to do this. You have to actually use your gun to move the boxes into the buttons, and then you have to go through. Actually, is there actually like metalheads down here? Oh, jeez. Oh god. You know, I totally forgot about this guy, and I'm dead. Do I have to go through this cutscene again? Okay, I I do have like a few problems with this game here. And I'll probably I'll probably explain it through the credits. I definitely will like explain it through the credits here. Okay. No time to celebrate. Great. Here comes that bad boy again. 
Yeah, I didn't even mean to skip this part. I, I was just being so, like, stressful. Oh. Really? Whoa. Okay. What the hell? Yeah. Let's go. We're almost to the elevator. Looks like we finally lost some chili peppers. Piece of cake, huh? Guess we went from cherries to chili peppers. I see it's time we take this fight to the metalhead leader himself. What a trophy he'll make. We find a way to do some Mars old gun and then boom, baby. We storm the nest guns blazing. Here. We'll take them all on together, you and me, side by side. Nothing will stop us, cause we're... Shit! So, uh, what's plan B? <laughs> nice use of the death bell there, game. Yeah. Never again. Never again will we go through that. I had to focus real hard, and I'm gonna record that part. Trying that so hard. So, yeah, I guess Sig's dead. Oh my god. And we thought we were going to rescue him. Oh my god. Both the fucking uh, Titan suit going underwater and escaping from that giant centipede metalhead with Sig. That sounded like Kira, and looks like they're in the stadium. No, I, oh, the, this controller. <laughs> yeah, th those last two really pissed me off, didn't it? Holy, like, holy crap. I didn't even realize how, like, annoying that was. Duh, I think you hit him. I know you can actually like attack these guys using the using the jet board. Wait, there are two things? Oh, there's actually like two things you can do here. I want to actually go through like the ch uh, the checkered flag part. Cuz I can see over there that's where the time thing is. I want to actually check here. Unless this has something to do with the, uh, yep. This has something to do with the points for using the jet board. I was gonna say, is that like a side mission? Oh, I think I know what this is. The Rift Rider's finished, but if my father's right and the ring is somewhere in the metalhead nest, how are we going to get the Rift Rider there to use it? Look! Bruno just knew friends would need lift if metal letters attack. Bruno, you to me! Lucka balloons are finest lifters in world, but they is easy target. Right, you guys get the rift rider to the nest. I'll stay here and defend your takeoff and getaway. Once again, being your friend sucks. I wanna go in the balloon. You can and be in. Rift balloon for lift away. Oh no, here they come! Little haggers! Don't scream at me, dude. Alright, so, yeah, this looks like it's going to be a slow escort on bringing both old Samoses over to the specific location. Ooh. Yeah, this is going to bring, like, the old Samoses over to a specific location. And bring the time machine over to the place. And it looks like it's gonna be a really hard job because there's actually oh god, so so many metal heads. Yep. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Fish and mailed. 
Well, at least I have 200, so... What do I want to do? Do I want to go to the Precursor God? Or do I want to actually do this first? The Rift Rider's finished. I think I want to do this first. Hang on. All I have to do is just see the red dots. Yeah. These are just some slow-ass old men just carrying a huge thing. Yeah, here they come. Oh boy. Ugh! Careful! Yeah, it looks like you can actually just shoot through them. It's just the metalheads that are doing the work. Let me just grab these quickly. Hey! This will be a tough task. Get out of here. <laughs> Even though these metal heads skull gems are worth it, I have a feeling like oh wait, hang on. It oh you don't. And it should be almost there. Plays it gently and we're good. Must be nice floating away while we die down here. We'll meet near the nest. See you soon, Jack. Be careful. Yeah, Jack! Be careful! <laughs> yeah, Jack! Jack. That's Jack! Yeah, you can see too, all the skull gems are gone. So I guess this was like the perfect opportunity to get the rest. So, it looks like... We have to go through the nest now. Bring in the time machine... Over to the nest and we have to go kill the metalhead leader. Again, like, I think I'm supposed to tell th how this story goes through the credits. Oh, you can even see the posters of me and Daxter. Or uh, Jack and Daxter as the winners of the, uh, the racing game. Oh, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> Alright, I think I'll meet you guys at the Precursor statue. Don't you see the fucking metalheads attacking you? You dipstick. I'm trying to save you guys. Because apparently... Crew wanted this in the first place, actually, I think. And wanted to take the Precursor Stone himself. I think I would explain it more if I read it as a Wikipedia lore thing. Instead of thinking about it. Dark Jack is now invincible. Holy shit. Oh my god. So whenever I'm touched, I don't get hit. Holy shit. Huh. Let me go back there. Oh, I need a hundred more metalhead skull gems. Yeah. We're near the end of the game. Um... Oh, Jesus. Can I change back? Okay. So, after bringing like 420 skull gems, it looks like I'm now invincible. I guess like if people touch me, I don't get hit. So, I feel like this is going to be a really, like a really good benefit now for doing the final boss. 
And here I thought the Dark Jack power was useless. 